So many residents and newcomers think that Percocet is the perfect town, but today we're gonna go over some of the ugly truths of living in Percocet, Pennsylvania, so you know if this is the town that you should consider moving to or not. Hi there, I'm Corey Benhart, your Philadelphia suburb realtor. I specialize in helping people just like you make the move to Pennsylvania to find their perfect home. All of my contact information is below. Let's get started. Before we dive into the ugly truths, let's first go over why people love living in Percocet so much, starting with the first reason, which is the location. Percocet is located an hour north of Philadelphia and only two hours from both New York City and the Pocono Mountains. So because of Percocet's location, whether you like downtown nightlife, sporting events, concerts, etc., or you would rather be surrounded by nature and enjoy beautiful scenery and trails and lakes, etc., Percocet is very close to both of these two opposites. Over the past couple of years, Percocet has blown up in growth due to the great school district, the affordable the location, and so much more. The school district that services Percy is Penn Ridge School District, which is rated the fifth best in all of Bucks County with some of the best rated teachers in all of the state. Another great factor of living in Percy is the diverse landscape and all of the different living options. Since Percy does have a very fast growing downtown with new apartments, businesses, etc., that means you could find a great condo or apartment in the center of town where you could walk to just about everything. Unlike other towns where the downtown is really the only option to live, Percy has such a wide variety of different housing options. Percy has tons of different standard residential neighborhoods with both single family homes and townhomes. And if you're looking for more privacy, there are so many homes with acres upon acres of land while still only being a couple minute drive to the downtown Percocet area. Not many towns nowadays both have a center of town with tons of restaurants and bars and walkability and all of that while also having homes and farms with acres upon acres of land, only about five to 10 minute drive from the center of town. Most of the time you see the towns with those downtown areas, but developers and home builders have bought up all of the surrounding land and there are tons of neighborhoods all throughout. But that definitely is not the case for Percocet. There are still cornfields, acres upon acres of just grassland, cows grazing, etc. And of course, another major reason why people love living in Percocet is the very close proximity to Lake Nakamixon, which is perfect for lakeside hikes, swimming, boating, etc. So now let's get started with the first ugly truth of living in Percocet and that is it has gotten so much more expensive than what it used to be. About four to five years ago, Percy was just a very small town with a couple of restaurants, maybe two to three bars and some parks. But over the past couple of years, Percy has absolutely blown up in popularity. In the last couple of years alone, there has been tons of new developments, parks, breweries, restaurants, bars, coffee shops, and so much more being built in Percy. So as more and more people have moved here, the affordability has gone down. Truthfully, though, Percy is one of the more affordable options for towns within the Philadelphia suburbs, even with all of the tremendous growth that Percy has experienced the past couple of years. As we mentioned the different types of housing that we have here in Percy, keep in mind that definitely the single family and townhome communities are amongst the most competitive compared to the other style of housing here in Percy. So if that's what you would be looking to buy, keep in mind that there might be more competition for that style of house. The the good thing though is since there is a lot of new construction that has been built and is currently being built, there's a good amount of inventory that you can choose from instead of having to compete against other buyers for typical resale homes. So instead you could just buy a new construction and you could design it exactly how you'd like. Most of the new construction inventory that you'll find in Percocet are townhomes which are being built semi close to the center of town so you can still enjoy all of the amenities that Percocet has to offer. Another ugly truth of Percy could be a pro or a con. It really depends on your personal preference and that's the location. So while it is still a suburb of Philadelphia, if you need to commute to Philadelphia every day or a couple times a week, it could be a bit exhausting because during rush hour, it could take you around an hour to an hour and a half one way to Center City, Philadelphia. Percy unfortunately does not have a direct train line right into Center City, Philadelphia. So if you wanted to live in Percy but take the train to the city, you would need to drive from Percy to a close by town to get on that train and then take it directly to the city. So while it's not impossible to live in Percocet and travel to Center City, Philadelphia every day or a couple times a week, it certainly isn't very convenient. The next ugly truth is Percocet and its job market. And well, truthfully, there really isn't one 
in Perksy unless you plan on working for a small local business or in the restaurant industry. If you're completely remote work from home, then you don't have to worry about this. But if you're planning on moving to Perksy and trying to find a job here, that might be a bit difficult, but instead you'll have to find one outside of Perksy if you wanna work for, let's say a Fortune 500 company or some sort of big company. There are 13 Fortune 500 companies right in Philadelphia. So if you're willing to commute, you could definitely find any type of business and industry that you'll want right there in the city. Or if you wanted to work in the city, we could also help you find a suburb that would be a little bit closer to the city. All right, so the next ugly truth is the weather that Perkasy receives. Although Pennsylvania is one of the few states that receives all four seasons, we do receive some harsh winters and some dreaded hot, humid summers. Depending on where you currently live, Pennsylvania weather might not be that bad or it could be even better than the state you're currently located in. Besides the fall and spring seasons, which are absolutely beautiful as the seasons change with the leaves changing and the flowers blooming, we also have a very harsh winter. On average, Perksy gets 49 inches of rain per year compared to the US average of 38 inches. Perksy averages 26 inches of snow per year compared to the US average of 28 inches. But actually the past couple of years, we've been pretty fortunate. In this area of Pennsylvania, we've only received about five inches of snow each winter for the past couple of years. So it really does depend winter by winter. But although we might not be receiving as much snow as we once did, that does not affect how cold it gets. Our average low for the year is in January and it averages right around 19 degrees. Our winters here can be pretty weird though because some days during the winter it can be 40 to 50 degrees, but also some days can be in the 30s, 20s, or even down in the teens. I'm born and raised here in Pennsylvania, and I've never had a winter that has only been in the 30s, 20s, and teens. We get a bit of a break every couple days or maybe every couple weeks in the winter, and we kind of get a sprinkle of 40s and 50 degree weather to quickly melt all the snow. Now for the other harsh season, which is our summertime. Our summer high can reach upwards of 90 degrees, but keep in mind, 90 degrees here in Pennsylvania and more specifically in Perksy is a completely different 90 degrees in most other states. If it's 90 here or pretty much any temperature here during the summer, keep in mind that there's probably about 60 to 70% of that is pure humidity. So 90% here is definitely not the West Coast dry 90 degrees. 90 degrees here is hot, sticky, and humid. If you've never experienced a Pennsylvania winter or summer, I would highly recommend coming to take a visit before planning to make the move, just to make sure that this is the type of weather that you're anticipating and that you're comfortable with. So if Perkasy sounds like somewhere that you would consider moving to, or if you need help finding other towns that would better suit what you're looking for, I would love to help. All of my contact information is below. And until then, I will see you over on this next video.